Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So as you can tell from the title and the little description of this video, I'm going to be making like a pleated-ish, um, yeah, denim or jean. So these are the pants I'm going to be using. So where would I point, like where the line is, like right about where the, not like zipper, but towards the ending of the pants, that's where you're going to be cutting. And once you're done, it should look something like this. So next, you're going to be looking for the seams and you're just going to remove them. I use a seam ripper. And yeah, so make sure when you're done, you clean up the edges and make sure you remove the, all the extra strings. And then you're going to see in a second, I'm going to align both of the pieces because one of them will be bigger. So I'm going to take the smallest size because I want mine to be not too long. And I'm just going to mark it and then I'm cutting off the extra fabric. And then when you're done, um, you're going to pin all your pieces together and you're going to sew it. Make sure the flaps are not folded when you pin them together. And then I'm going to show in a second what stitch I did because I'm not sure what's the name. But I first went over with the straight line and then I went back with the zigzag. I also forgot to mention, but make sure you mark like with a chalk or something, which is the top and the bottom, because the top is the one that's going to be connected to the other part of the jeans. Once you're done, make sure you clean any extra fabric or strings. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom and you're going to fold that flap and then you're going to sew the flap together so it has a nice clean edge. So in the end, you should have something looking like this. So what I did is I did every two inches I make a fold. So what I do is I pinch it and then I fold it and I'll just take a pin and pin it. And I do that for all around but you can do whatever size you want. I just decided to do two inches and I did fold it um, look like looking at the right. Also it's very important when you fold it make sure you don't fold it all the way. Make sure it opens up towards the bottom because you're not making like a a pleat pleat it's just only on the top I'm sorry I don't really know the names of it but yeah I hope that makes sense so once you're done you're gonna take the bottom part of the skirt and you're gonna take the top part of the skirt and align it so you're just gonna pick on which one you like better or like which one looks prettier in this case I just took like the back and front and then you're going to have some extra well depending on the skirt I had some extra so what I'm, I'm just going to cut that off but do try it on you're going to see me right now me trying it on together and you could just adjust it to see how it would look you could put it higher or lower it's just up to you just how we did the bottom of the skirt earlier what you're going to do you're going to take the pleats and then you're going to put it on the top of the skirt but you're not going to overlap it you're going to make them like 
kissing in a way or like facing each other and then you're just gonna pin them and then you're gonna sew it and make sure it's even try your best to make it even if it's not you can always just adjust it and go back to it and try it on so on the ending part where both of the pleats like meet what I did I did the same thing as I did as the other part where we were putting the skirt together I made them facing each other not overlapping and then I'm gonna sew it together so on the outside of the skirt you'll see right now it looks like it's another pleat I didn't film me um, sewing it because you guys don't need to see me sewing it but it's pretty self-explanatory it's the same thing that we did as the other so part of the skirt I just finished stitching everything pretty much it's all you have to do all you have to do is just sew it in and you're basically done um, and then what you can also do is right here, there's going to be some extra fabric, so make sure to cut that off. And over here too, make sure you cut those off and any extra strings in the way. You can also go back and stitch it again to make sure it's secure and like it lasts long in the washer. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, what I did off camera. And right now, I'm actually going to iron it so the pleats are more sharper. But this is how it looks. It's actually really cute. I'm surprised. It actually, I'm really surprised it turned out. I was just going everything off my head, honestly, like filming this video, I was like, oh, I really hope this turns out right because I just did it by looking at it, you know, and I did search up videos on like different types of pleats. I'll put it in the description box to see because I don't know. I think this is the box. I don't know because I know there's different types of pleats, but yeah, I did make mine high waisted. Yeah, I will put in a little video after this section of like a little montage of me modeling of this. So yeah, that's the final product. So now to my me modeling.